everyone, we're going to be creating this vector ban in this style that is quite different to what I'm used to do. Uh, it's kind of like a flat design illustration. Let's start with it. So the first thing you want to do is creating this background. You can follow along and keep this orange or you can just use whatever the color you prefer. Um, next thing for me, it's going to be reducing this one. So I just put it on the side and it doesn't get in my way. I will use it as a reference and so let's start with it when i did this one um, i went to google and looked for a van so i think i wrote volkswagen van in profile yeah that's what i wrote so it was there and we come here and i just did a research and at the end i found one that i really liked Okay, so I don't really remember what it was, but you will find some, you know, van in a profile view that may serve you for your purposes. I already have it in my canvas, so, okay, this is just uh, to let you know that I just look for reference somewhere here. Um, I will show you which one in the canvas right now, not to waste more time. Okay, so I just put it here. And as you can see, this is my reference. This is what I'm going to be using to trace along at least the very first um, strokes, okay? So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna start working. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is grab my random rectangle tool and with no fill, just a stroke, I'm gonna drag it over my reference, something like this. I'm gonna make the corners something like 30, okay? If you wonder why 30, I'm just trying my best to to get to what I have in mind. But uh, it's not that I <clears throat> really know it by heart. It's just, I think a 30 is a nice curve if I want to make this one a little bit more cartoony. And that's why I'm doing it like that. If I don't like it, I will change it. Just, you know, like everything, you have a solution, especially in digital. It's It's just easy to change your mind. Um, let's see for this one, mm, I can also go here and try different things like so, maybe like so, back to that one, you know, I just go, opa, trying different things that could just serve me for my purposes. Uh, I obviously don't want to just reproduce exactly this, the, the shape of it, I just want to make something that looks nice enough um, to make a cartoony look to my van. So, mm, not very happy with this one. Opa, not very happy with this one. Let's just pull it there like that, maybe like that. Yeah, I think for starts, it doesn't look very bad. I'm gonna make this one thicker now something like this i still have something that i don't like but i would just change it along right now i don't need my reference anymore so i just put it aside and now what i'm going to do is taking this thing in here and this one in here put them side by side and yeah i'm gonna just try to you know do something similar to what i did here um I actually, when I created this one, I only had this reference. Then I went to Google to look for some inspiration, like this 56 combi sticker, um, the surfboard, things like that. But basically, you know, I just go adding things as I find them nice and, you know, that they can work. Okay. So I suggest you to do the same. Now, Let's see, <clears throat> next thing I can do, probably, let's just put some color to it. If I mask it, click in there. Just, sorry, I repeat it. Now it's inside, I'm gonna change the color to this one. I just, you can use, choose your own color as usual. It doesn't have to be this one exactly. I probably want to um, create the wheels now so I'm just 
gonna go like this. I'm gonna make this thicker at one point, and maybe like smaller. Oh, okay, something like this. Now I need to create this thing design the shadow. How do I do this? Mm, probably I'm going to duplicate. I'm gonna change this. And I'm gonna get rid of the stroke. I'm gonna make it bigger. Something like this. Obviously, need to copy the color I use for the outline of the wheel, otherwise, it's gonna look a little bit weird, in my opinion. Maybe you don't agree. Okay, so now I need to just put this one inside this one. So I click in here and again, I just mask it. Something like that. We're going to create the inner circle. Again, you can just choose your colors. Just you, you don't need to just choose the colors you find you like best. Okay. Oh, well, something like this. Something like well, I'm gonna just grab it from here so I don't have to think much. But I don't want to make this eternal, so. You, at home you take your time to choose the color you like best you know to consider all these things which really you know you can just think on your own you don't need me to to do that it's not really a big deal I guess <clears throat> and now I'm needing another one color which is this one there's a doggy somewhere around that one okay so that color is gonna go also oh i put it in the stroke i uh, didn't mean to i meant to put it in the fill so let's just choose this color here okay we got it and now we need to just to just how do I do this okay no I don't I'm gonna do it differently I'm gonna duplicate and I'm going to use it like this something like this and now I mask it inside oh. and there you go uh, no, there you go, no. And again, I mask it inside. Now it's done. Sometimes. Okay, so we have the first wheel. Just nothing. Like perfect. But in any case, I think it starts to, you know give the overall idea yeah now I don't like this as I said before I would like to to make it different so I'm gonna start modifying <coughs> the the notes so maybe I find something that I like better Compared to what I have, I probably speed up this a bit because I don't want you to be waiting for me to finish and find something that I'm happy with. But as long as you get the idea of what I'm doing, it's it should be enough.
Okay, so we're gonna go for this top side in here, which is quite easy to do too. We need a stroke, obviously, and not a fill. We just reduce it a bit, something like this. Yeah, and probably I want to make, no, I want to make the corners more roundy. Let's just put it put it there. Okay. Now we're gonna do the other bit. Something like this, probably um even more rounded corners than the first one and for sure we're going to make this seven points probably for this one the same seven points seven points there yeah let's just um center them something like this okay now the next thing probably I'm going to add the surfboard and for that one it's just a simple um, circle ellipse so I just chose this color and maybe you know, try to keep more or less the same thickness in the strokes. Doesn't have to be exactly, exactly, exactly the same, but it's better if you just keep them more or less consistent. So, yeah, sorry. That's basically it. Um, the main thing I'm doing here now <clears throat> is just getting the idea of what I'm doing. And as I always say at the very end, you know, I give several passes to my work and start tweaking things. And really, I think that's the moment when I find more uh, inspiration. Uh, I think for me personally is the, the moment where I really, really have fun when I just give the second pass and, and start having ideas because I, I feel more relaxed about the fact that I already have my main um work done and i can start having fun so like for example this probably should be window a view studio what is this um transform it's gonna be still doing it here um one it eight and i want this one eight yep better like this so now we're going to be creating this area here behind the wheel for that i'm going to select the trapezoid tool and i'm gonna go like this i click this one and copy and now i paste the attributes command sheet v okay and now i'm gonna cut it and i'm gonna mask it inside this one so there it goes probably i'm gonna need to make this some um, let's say 20 and the same one for the other corner 20 okay I think this could work. Okay. I'm gonna make it slightly smaller. I mean, it's too wide now. And I want it to be more like so. 
Mm -hmm. Probably need to leave more room in here because I want to put the um, exhauster there or the bumper. So yeah. Yeah, that's it. So I continue now doing just basic shapes for all the, the illustration is just no big deal. I mean, as you can see here, now I'm going to be creating these shapes like this. Maybe I need to zoom in a bit. So I don't have it. Mm. Probably I'm gonna probably I'm gonna mask it to inside this one. Yeah, that's basically it. And now I'm gonna put this color. I did it before with a gradient, but I think it's faster just to create it like um, a masked shape. So that's what I'm gonna do now. If you do it properly, that is, because I'm doing it in the stroke. Okay, sorry, I'm working with the touchpad and sometimes it's just not the best thing. Okay, but I have to take the chance to do these tutorials anytime I can, so this is what I have now. <laughs> this is the way I'm doing it. Um, mask inside and that's it. Mm-hmm, yeah. We want to duplicate this one. What the hell did I do? We want to duplicate this one. Just put it somewhere here. It's a little bit, um, yeah, cluttered there. So I'm gonna move the whole thing, including this. I'm gonna move it a little bit up. To the front gonna put this one here so we have more room yeah mm, okay now i'm gonna create this thing as i go along what i realize is i need to see more and more elements in order to you know feel that you know things are moving um Okay, so this needs to be on top of this one. Know what it is. So I cut it, I click in this, and I paste it. Okay. Next thing I'm going to be creating is the windows. So let's just do this like so, like so. Um, yeah, that's a good color, which is the same one I have in the original file, the original graphic. That's it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Um, let's not forget that I need this part in there, so probably I need to make these two guys here shorter. Sorry. Yeah. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. I duplicate it because it's faster, you know. And just what I need to do now is simply change the color to something kind of gray, like I have it here. And I just forget about masking and all that. So that's why I duplicate it. Why not? Um, hmm. Let's just make sure it's the same color for this. Oh, yeah. Now, just in case, I'm gonna mask it there too. So it looks smooth. I still wanna make it a little bit longer. So it looks better. Basically, that's it. Now, Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is, well, probably I want to make them 
still more like this and this window yeah I think it could be bigger a bit bigger something like this okay now I'm going to be creating these windows but instead of using a rounded rectangle I'm going to use a normal rectangle because what I want well first off I'm gonna copy the attributes command shift V because what I want is um, to manipulate each radius each angle uh, differently so all of them are gonna be rounded yes but to different degree so for example the first one is going to be something like 80 almost the second one is gonna be hmm, it's gonna be something like 54 next one that one is gonna be very very low in percentage and that one is gonna go like that so this way I just I can achieve this kind of shape that uh, you know looks more to the original looks more like it now I duplicate and flip it and put it to the back side I realize I'm yes details these details I want to you know make them because otherwise it's just not gonna look as good and so i need them ready anytime soon okay so this is the windows and now we need to make the reflections for them so for that i'm going to create duplicate this one for example i get rid of the stroke make it a little bit smaller give it some mm, color like is more or less this should be it I'm gonna make it slightly smaller let's see if it fits well even I think I need it a little bit lighter the color but that's too much so what I'm going to do in order to speed up things is just copy the color I used in my original <clears throat> Okay, I think that works. Now I copy it, I paste it, and what I want to do is insert it in this shape. So for that, I mask it inside, and the same one for this one, the same thing for this one. Now it's masked in there. Um, yeah, I guess I need to change the color of the inside of these uh, windows because it's not so contrasted as the original one so yeah select this one and this one and copy and paste the attributes okay now i'm gonna keep going with the reflections just something whitish or white directly and i'm gonna move it like so click and shift so i give it an angle and again i cut it i select this one and I target inside by masking, copy another one, something like this, nice. Uh, probably I want to duplicate another one and again, click and shift, I want to make it wider and again, click and shift. Yeah, that's it. I'm pretty happy with it. I cut him, come to the second window mask inside and I move it there so they show you can see this one has uh, this bit shouldn't be there it should be probably here yeah that's it and I guess I want some transparency on this one so I'm gonna just move it a bit randomly it's each one different to the other one so it looks more dyna dynamic this one is too much, so I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna make it softer. Should do the same for these ones. And again, I copy, duplicate, and we cannot see them, but we cut them. 
we come here we want a mask inside we paste it and now I'm gonna move them move them a bit so again the same principle to make them look not so copy pasted from one window to the other basically that's it and yeah I think I think this is just way Opa. too opaque he needs more of a transparency to it. it looks nicer like that yeah i think it looks nicer okay so you get the idea i'm not going to spend more time in that now we're gonna go we're, we're gonna do the, the the bumpers so for the bumpers stroke in here nice thick stroke and we just make the angles really rounded and I'm gonna zoom in otherwise it's just it's hard to work like that so we're gonna make them smaller something like this something like this let me look from a distance yeah it looks quite nice um, I'm gonna check this is seven and uh, this is four I'm gonna make it slightly thicker something like this yeah even I can do it a bit bigger a bit wider <clears throat> good I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna put it on the back side this one is slightly smaller so I'm going to go to transform and instead of 27 I'm gonna say 24 24 yep so we have it there and a little bit lower mm -hmm. and I see I want this also a bit lower and this one too nice next thing we'll be doing is the the light so round the rectangle something like this yellowish color I already have chosen and I'm gonna cut it select my last layer because I want it to be on the back so that should be it this is the this is this one so it doesn't count so we have it there now I'm gonna make it a bit smaller and I'm gonna take it out a bit like this and make this one sorry thicker Yeah, and this is where, where I can tell I need these bits tweaked. So something like this, and I would like to make this nice bump in here later on. You see, these things I'm gonna be changing so everything looks better. Now, <coughs> I want to give it also a nice reflection here. So I just take some whitish color, make it like so, even a bit less. I cut it, I select this one, and I mask inside, and I move it so I can see it. Something like that. Okay, um, I think I want this even more rounded yeah so it looks nicer that should be it that should be it okay uh you get the idea of what i'm doing um i copy this one i put it on the back and in this case i'm going to remove the stroke just for style and i'm also removing the reflection i think i'm gonna just get rid of it out with it nice now next thing i think i'm gonna move it a little bit bye <laughs> okay so yeah um as i was saying now uh, i would like to make the bump here i may do it at the very end and speed it up because you know it may take some time to get it exactly as I want it, so just don't want to make this eternal. I'm gonna make this um, 
shapes in here. Okay, so now we're going to be doing these shapes in here. For that, we take the rounded rectangle tool and we make the corners rounded. And now we're going to make it smaller, like something like this. Even, you know, just a bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to zoom in so everything is easy easier because otherwise sometimes it just gets impossible so i click command j to duplicate it see it in the here in the layers and now i move it to where i want it to be and this is the smart copy as you know keep clicking command j command j and it's gonna make this sort of copy paste automatic so i have seven of them i group them and now what I want to do is just move them around. I'm sorry, I'm working in such a small screen. It's hard to sometimes do things properly. Anyway, we have it there. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe I would like them a little bit more separated. But again, you get the idea. We're going to do the light in the back side, the red light, we put this color something like this and something like this and I'm gonna make the corners really round, Opa. sometimes it's really difficult if you're zoomed out to just grab things properly, so we made it like that and now we need to make sure it's below so it doesn't show the rest I don't really fancy the color I put it's too dark so I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna try to just make it a little bit better this one something like this even even maybe smaller yeah and I'm gonna make a color like yeah that's nicer Okay, um, next thing should be these lines in here. I'm gonna duplicate this little dot. I'm gonna put it here. Also, this is just, you know, these little stylish details that makes everything nicer. Put it there. And to do this, actually, I'm not gonna do it tracing. I'm going to copy paste this. Now I have it copied. I'm gonna get rid, sorry, I'm gonna get rid of all the elements inside because I don't need them for anything at all. And now I'm gonna get rid of the fill. And now what I'm going to do, um, yeah, I'm going to separate this in actions, break curve, and I'm going to get rid of this, get rid of this node, get rid of those. Um, I need to zoom out a little bit to see what I did in the other one. So yeah, it's a line that more or less follows along the main shape, but it has to be a little bit thinner, otherwise it's going to be too much. So let's just try with this. Let's just make it a bit smaller. Clicking a, a shift. Something like this. Uh, it could work. It could work. Um. Yeah. Probably I want to try and do something with this, not like so, um, not like so either, maybe just add a node in here to make it, yeah, and I'm gonna get rid of this one, and yeah, something like this. And now with the pen tool, 
I may trace and actually I'm gonna use this one I may trace a curve that looks decent enough yeah something like this and something like this I think I'm gonna get rid of the last one of the notes hmm See, I kind of like it more the other one I did, but <laughs> you have to understand that here I'm just running against the clock and sometimes, you know, I get a little bit too anxious to, you know, not to make it extra long. But to be honest, when I drew this van for the first time, it probably took me less. But it's just that, you know, Opa, you're not paranoid with, with the watch. Uh, looking at the time and how long this gets and all that uh, also I'm not talking things like that make it easy or easier to just you know work in silence and you know get to the point I think I'm gonna make mm, yeah I think I like this I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna pass it to the other side of the van just to use the end bit of it something like this let me check it's not bad, it's not bad still kind of like it, this one better but it's not bad and the most important thing is that uh, you get the idea how I work and how these things are done. Um, gonna make the line below uh, the the wheels. So it's gonna be something like this and like this. Gonna make it this this one so it has the the round cap at the end. It looks nicer. Something like this. Opa. There is a bug. Sometimes I move things and I'm, I'm clicking the up cursor to go up, but it just goes to the right. And I reported it some time ago. Not sure if it's fixed for the new release or whatever, but it's really annoying. Just imagine you're working in UI design as I was working when I reported this and it was just it was really a bad bug. Anyway, back to what I was. I copy paste this one and I'm gonna move it along just to make the other bits very end. Again, this bag is just putting it up. It should be just moving to the side. It's annoying. Anyway, one of these days. And um, Yeah, now we have this one here. See, in this case, I added some kind of like a, you know, like the, like the wheel is really touching the, the air, the, the road, <laughs> I mean. I'm not gonna do it now, again, for the same reason. I don't want this to be really a long tutorial, but as you can see, it's just a shape. It's a shape I placed below this, um, this, these wheels so nothing really uh, difficult um, I'm just gonna concentrate in probably doing the last details and I'm gonna just take this uh, to the end because otherwise you know it's just too long nobody wants a long tutorial so yeah this would be little shape I put in here exactly looking at the other side and like that and I just gave it a little bit of an angle modified a little bit the shape you can do that if you want to see this one is a little bit more like a drop this is a little bit more pointy doesn't really matter um, and yeah I think it's worth mentioning how I did this more than anything else 
So I'm going to repeat it. I'm going to zoom in. And what I did for this, I think it was first off, I did this um, circle and I did it, the, this stroke, something like this. I remove the filling. I said I remove it. And now I'm going to put the color in here. And probably I convert it to corpse and I split these two. And I, opa, I get rid of this one. And now I take the pen tool and I'm going to make a straight line, click and shift. And now I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to flip it. So what I want to do now, I want to make sure, yeah, it's a scale with object, so I'm going to scale it something like this, yeah, well I meant the opposite actually, I want it in this case not to scale with the object, so it keeps the same thickness so I was thinking something else. So this one is going to go like this. I'm going to make them all thicker. You can do it as a group. Just let's make it. No, that's too much. Let's make it three. Yeah, and I'm going to make the ends, the caps straight. I like it better. So three. Mm. and three in here and the cap at the end like so and now the only thing I need is just making another something like this you can make it um, starting a little bit before this one or a little bit after it's up to you just to give it your own style so yeah, mm, this needs to be three, 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 yeah. So well, as you can see, I position already my smoky cloud in the, in the van and, and basically that's it. Uh, they are not identical, but I'm sure you get the idea of how I work this and how you can go about it too and the things you can make better like like you know fine-tuning details like these ones in the, in the in the wheels also this curve is nicer than this one you just need to modify it a little bit um the the shadow on top of this wheel it would be just the shape you put on top of it like a um, moon shape one of those crescents you can just put it there and it's gonna work perfectly things like that okay so that would be basically basically it i hope you like this tutorial uh, i will try to make them shorter if i can but some somehow it just takes you know if i want to be step by step and things like that it just gets too long sometimes um but i hope it's useful for you and, and you learn things and you enjoy them okay so see you in the next one bye